Hello guys, welcome back to my tutorials. Um, in this tutorial, we are going to talk about the type of uh, um, about numbers and the basic math of numbers, uh, type of numbers, uh, some functions related to numbers, the basic operations, the order of operations, the increment and decrement, assignment and comparison. So, type of number. Um, as you know, in computer science, there are several different types of numbers. There is integer, like 43. There is float, like 43 dot something. There is double, that is uh, even more precise than float, because uh, float arrives till 7 decimal uh, of precision. Double arrives till 10 or even more, I don't want to say something wrong, anyway, it's more precise. Um, then there is binary, that is 0 and 1, and there is octal and hexadecimal that uh, I don't want to talk about. Uh, but the point is that for JavaScript, everything is a number. In fact, if I come here and I type, type off, no, type off, And um, we go to the live server. It of course says number, not integer. I come here, I write a float, what should be a float. Okay, um, I come back and it still says number. I write uh, a double. I come back and it's a number and etc. etc. Um, this means that uh, even if for computer science there are more uh, than different type of numbers, in J JavaScript we'll treat all the kind of numbers as number. First thing. Um, second, if I want to round up, there are a lot of ways to round up. Anyway, if you want to round up your number, because uh, these are too many, too precise for you, um, there is this fixed method that uh, you write it like this. Uh, number dot to fixed. And here you can write uh, um, three, for example. Then, uh, you go back here, and as you see, it rounds it, etc., um, etc. Et then, uh, what, uh, of course, uh, um, this, uh, what uh, theoretically this now is a number, represents a number, but is actually a string. So if I write, uh, Oops. Type off, uh, and I come. I, I quit the server. Um, it says this is a string, uh, and if I want to, for example, to make uh, an operations, what uh, our logic. Uh, our logic says uh, that uh, it should be 43. No, sorry. Uh, I don't. Uh, I just. I console log the, the number, but I wanted to console log the result. Um, So as you see here, it writes 433 because I'm I'm actually concatenate a string with a number, and this is not what I want. Uh, so if you um, if you want to make a string become a number, you can write this number method number number and. Um, 
then you can uh, you can use uh, the um, you can do operations on it like it's a number so now it becomes 46 um, and okay uh, so uh, operations is already simple uh, there are all the operations of uh, of uh, the basic math that you can think of anyway um, there is a multi uh, i mean yes javascript can handle all kind of operations yes there is a, uh, it, it can multiply uh, addition subtraction etc uh, if you come here you can, uh, of course, uh, add 3, and it's 46. You can subtract, and it's 40. You can uh, multiply, and it's uh, 100, etc. Then uh, there is something new, but uh, of course, this uh, represents. Uh, Division, division. Okay, and uh, then there is this one, which is the rest operator. No, it's not called the rest operator, absolutely. Uh, but it gives you the rest of the of your uh, of your uh, operation. So in this case is one because the rest of the operation is one. Uh, what is used for uh, is, for example, when you want to know is this uh, is this number divisible by two, uh, then you go and you see the rest. So actually, many times uh, you will see that it's used in the if else statements to say something is true or not, <clears throat> or something like this. Anyway, um, okay, this is uh, really math of the. Uh, when you were seven years old, um, going to the order of operations is same. And in fact, uh, if I come here, it should become like 200 and something. What's up? Okay, yes, I'm really dumb <laughs> at uh, multiplication. It does 49, and it's, uh, in <laughs> and it's uh, actually the right, uh, the right operations. I hope you don't stop following me because of this, because, of course, uh, the operation uh, order is before the multiplication and then after uh, uh, addiction. Um, okay, kind of fun today. And, uh, of course, if I do like this, uh, now I quit the again the lab server. Parentheses make the order uh, different, and uh, and now it should be two hundred and something, one hundred and thirty. Okay, um, et cetera, et cetera. More important, uh, e what is increment and decrement operation? This maybe is a little less basic and uh, obvious. Uh, if I can, okay, I have this my, my my number. If I come here and I write number plus plus, and uh, then I again, and then I come back on the server. Ah, constant variable. Sorry, it has to be a let. I forgot. But now, I it's 44. If you come here uh, and you do, and this is the in increment operator, and uh, if you come here, you make the decrement operator, and it's 42. And this uh, maybe can be useful, and not always someone knows about this. Um, then there is the assignment operator because uh, theoretically now it's not a constant anymore, so I can do what I want. Uh, for example, I have write uh, number equal to number, 
plus 5, okay? And the result is 48. I hope it is 48. But you can even just... Actually, it has to be in front of it. You can do number equal plus 5. And it's a good shortcut to do the same. And the uh, same is uh, minus the equal, uh, minus equal, uh, multiply the equal. Of course, uh, let's, not be, let's not waste our time. And uh, last is the comparison operator. Comparison operator, um, there is three equal sign, um, two equal sign, uh, minus, uh, minus and major, and uh, minus a and uh, and two equal sign with uh, the um, exclamation mark. Okay. Um, for example, let's remove this. Intanto first, and uh, we come here and we say, okay, forty three. It's uh, equal to forty three. Then uh, save. And uh, here it comes, it says true because our we are console logging uh, um, a, a true um, declaration. A true declaration. If, um, for example, if we come here and we say, of course, major and ma major and minor, they are obvious. So, um, it number is mean minor than forty-seven. I didn't. I didn't save. Ah, it's true. Uh, okay, my number is 947. Yes, it's true. Is major than 47? It's false. Uh, minor is uh, different than 47. Is true. Minor is different than 43. It's false. Then, last uh, thing that uh, maybe someone doesn't understand. Uh, if you come here um, and you say, now now number, let's put the number as a string. And you say, number is equal to 43. And it says true because when you are, uh, have two equal sign, it's uh, it's comparing only the value. So the value of number is equal to forty three. But if you are if you are using three equal sign, now it's false because now we are not just using the value, but uh, the, it's comparing the value of the of the number. And, the, and what it's on the right side of the operation, but also the type of. So you, you are comparing everything. They're not just equal, they are identical. You have to, it has to be identical to 43. Uh, so now if I write is different, is not identical, I don't understand what I mean. Uh, I don't even know how to say it. Now it says true, because it is not identical than 43. Okay. Uh, so I, I I said everything that was that was quite uh, uh, important about this, and now we'll move forward uh, into uh, strings uh, and uh, basically operations with strings, uh, concatenation, etc. But of course, I will do it in the next videos because now I think it's already fifteen minutes. I don't know. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed. I um, follow me and uh, keep watching because we just begin and uh, uh, there is a lot of stuff to do uh, for JavaScript. Thank you very much. Uh, bye bye.